there's some things, you know, that we can't do, like we can't drive a car and we, we can't, I mean, we can go out anytime we want, but we have to figure out how we're gonna get wherever we wanna go. Well, I have retrolintral fibroplasia. <laughs> Don't ask me to spell it. Um, I was uh, born premature. I was born three months too early. I was a pound and a half when I was born, and I was a breech birth on top of that. Um, they thought maybe I was retarded because I wasn't responding to things, and my mother was very relieved that uh, she, when she took me to a doctor in Tennessee that I was indeed blind. According to the American Federation for the Blind, an estimated 25 million Americans experience vision loss. Tape Ministries Northwest is a free service, sharing the joy of reading through books that inspire, entertain, and encourage. The answer I always give my friends is that Tape Ministries is a lending library of Christian audiobooks for the blind and disabled. I didn't realize that there weren't Christian tapes available for the blind, and so I thought it was a wonderful ministry, and I thought I'd like to take part in it, so I told him that I would be a volunteer. For me personally, I've always enjoyed reading aloud. Um, did a lot of it with my own children, and in my years of elementary school teaching, my husband is pastor in a church, so it was kind of a love of mine to read orally, and I just really enjoy doing it. And I'm pleased that the Tate Ministry sends their materials around the country. I'm just amazed at how many people use this service. Over 30 years ago in 1980, Tate Ministries was born in the basement of Crystal and Sid Bullis' home, who were members of John Knox Presbyterian Church. At that time, just one person was reading one book for one blind person. Today, over 1,200 visually impaired people receive books, magazines, and meditations. With thousands of books on tape, the authors are diverse, offering fiction, nonfiction, biographical, autobiographical, and devotional materials. We need tape ministries because it's a way of helping people who may not be able to read ordinary books. A lot of people are elderly and seniors and they need encouragement. Maybe it goes to a nursing home and you find a person in there that's just been shut away and they're not visited and, and tape ministries reaches in there where you or I can't go ordinarily. We have a number of patients who had perfect sight when they were in their 20s, 30s, 40s, and just over time, maybe for medical reasons or just time, their sight is not what it once was. We get several letters um, that tell us how a specific book helped someone in a specific time. I listen to your books every day. They help pass the time when I'm not feeling well. Plus, they give me courage to keep on keeping on. My hat's off to all your dedicated personnel. Thank you so much. I told my grandmother that I'd help her sign up for audiobooks from a Christian library, then make a donation as her Christmas gift. She's excited and looking forward to listening to good Christian stories. Thank you. Thank you so very much for your tape ministry. Nearly every day, Mom asks, any tapes in the mail? You bring joy and God's blessing to her heart. The Martha Arney Library for the Blind was donated to Tape Ministries Northwest. It was quite an honor to be chosen as the recipient of such a vast and incredible audio library. So we have their materials along with our own materials to provide for our patrons and their patrons. Just like it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a lot of people to run the Tape Ministry. There's usually five or six of us there on a Monday when I volunteer, and we're all very busy. When someone knows they're going to lose their sight over time, say to macular degeneration, which is common for many of our patrons, then, and they want to access our services, it's very simple, it's just a phone call, and then there's a simple application to fill out and return, and then with that you receive a catalog to access, and that has a listing of all our materials. Many people like to have the staff get a feel for what kinds of books they like, and then the staff often will send them a variety of selections of tapes. Some people get multiple books in a month, easily. And with others, they t keep a book for a month or two, and it takes them the time. Just like we all read at different speeds, everyone reads 
by listening. <laughs> they read their tapes at different speeds. Tape Ministries is a blessing. <laughs>